often do you drive by a construction project and see prayer underway. As the walls came down at the Sunnydale House, the site of the future LifeWise Academy in a light of the prayer rose up. This is a building project that's building more than just a structure. Prayer is a key component of the process. Praying for the children who will walk through these doors. Praying for the lives who will be changed. Praying for God's direction and God's will to be done. Just knowing how kids around the world don't have the privileges and the blessings of growing up in a Christian home and so many kids not going to church nowadays and being able to do this legally and in all the unsteadiness of what's going on in the world today to see churches uniting behind this and businesses uniting behind this and people giving and praying and um, we're just looking for revival starting from the the kids bringing it back to their homes, their parents and their grandparents. Bruce Marshall was a longtime teacher in the Elida School District, 35 years to be exact. After retiring, he and his wife spent a year teaching in Eastern Europe and now are eager to be involved in this venture, something that is more than just a venture. It's an opportunity to make a life-changing difference in the lives of area elementary students. It's just an exciting thing to be able to teach the Bible and character in public schools during the school day. And uh, we just counted a, a real blessing. Prayer at the Sunnydale House is a regular occurrence. It's just as important as the electrical projects, the framing, and all of the tangible work that is underway. It's a key component of this project because as many involved keep saying over and over, God is all over this. We see His work every single day. Learn more about prayer at the Sunnydale House by contacting Joe Wasick at jwasick at wtlw.com.